Each year, during the last four days before Lent, several distinct cultural traditions blend together in the colourful Barranquilla Carnival. Although Barranquilla only gained the status of a town in 1813, its geographical location on the Caribbean coast and at the mouth of the country's widest river, the Magdalena, ensured that during much of the 19th and 20th centuries, it was Colombia's busiest trading centre. As such, it was a magnet for the inhabitants of other towns and villages of the region, many of which had very strong and long-standing local traditions. The commercial character of Barranquilla made its inhabitants very open to new trends and ideas, while the fact that it had no cultural traditions to really call its own led to the easy adoption of those brought in by immigrants. Turning it into a true melting pot of native African and European cultural heritages, so helping to preserve traditions that in many cases would have died out in the very areas where they originated or evolved. To this day, the blending of indigenous African and European traditions permeates numerous aspects of the carnival, particularly dances, as exemplified by the Miko y Mikas from the Americas, the African Congo, and the Palotio of Spanish origin, musical genres with the predominant cumbia and variants such as a puya and poro, and folk instruments such as the tambora and allegre drums, maraca, claves, etc. Carnival music is generally performed by drum ensembles or by groups of wind instruments. Wearing extravagant masks, groups of dancers, actors, singers and musicians, the light crowds with theatrical and musical performances based on both historical and current events. Contemporary political life and figures satirised through mocking speeches and song lyrics that lend a burlesque atmosphere to the garden. There is a profusion of handcrafted objects, including floats, costumes, head ornaments, and animal masks. 